Pictures we are about to show you are disturbing, but they do tell the story quite well. Take a look at Chance, and as you can see, he is nothing but skin and bones. That's how a police officer found him. As Local 12's Tessa DeTiro reports, Chance, the Chance encounter, might have saved the dog's life. Officer Ryan Fair says when he first saw Chance, he was shocked. We were able to follow the dog to where he reached a creek and a hill embankment. He attempted to get up that embankment, but as fate would have it, he was too weak and ended up falling down and coming right into me. He was scared Chance might get hurt and die. We had about a five minute standoff on that hill where we just sat there and looked at each other and he wouldn't budge and then he wouldn't leave my side for the rest of the night. Chance is covered in fleas and open sores. He weighs 40 pounds. He should weigh at least 25 pounds more. Dr. Beth Natal says she has never seen a dog so starved. So obviously system's not working very well, but despite all of that, extraordinarily sweet and kind and loving and all he wanted were pets and snuggles. Tonight he gets a warm bath, a full bowl of food and extra TLC from the staff at the Deer Park Veterinary Hospital. And instantly everybody has fallen in love with him. He's hard not to fall in love with. Hospital staff and police don't know if he had a home. He did not have a microchip. Typically, the doctor says they don't find boxers wandering around. I don't want to believe that because, <laughs> um, you know, I just don't like to believe that anybody could treat an animal in that way. Best day. That's good boy. As weak as he was, chances lucky someone did. Oh, he's been given a second chance. Officer Fair tells me that his Facebook page is in, has been blowing up tonight with people asking if they could adopt Chance. Chance is actually resting here at the Deer Park a Veterinary Hospital. He'll stay here for the next couple of weeks as he recovers, and then hospital staff and officers will work to find him his forever home. Live here in Amberley Village, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. He is a sweet boy. Thank you, Tessa. The police department is now looking for some help to cover the vet costs, and if you'd like to pitch in, we've set up a link at local12.com.